Now we know that electric vehicle stocks and clean energy stocks are absolutely going to soar in 2021. So what if we could get into a stock that just merged with a SPAC, but this company is already partnered with companies like General Motors, Uber, and Lyft. Now if you know what stock I'm talking about already, congratulations. If you don't, we're talking about CLII is the SPAC and it's merging with EVgo. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. We're gonna grow our portfolios together and we're just gonna grow together. Now, if you like the content on this channel, please don't forget to click that like button and if the subscribe button is still red, do me a favor, click the subscribe button, join the channel and become a bro. And if you like the video and you wanna share it on stock twits, make sure to tag me there as well, at Claybro. So let's talk about EVgo and the SPAC merger that just took place. Now we've seen this stock go from around $13 per share and it shot all the way up to $22 per share today on the news. So let's talk a little bit about EVgo and then where this stock price could go from here. So what does EVgo do? They are a electric vehicle charging company and currently they have roughly 800 different charging stations across the United States and they're continuing to grow. Now they've recently partnered with General Motors to get I think as much as 2,600 different charging stations out there within the next few years to help build up the electric vehicle infrastructure that's going to be super important if we're gonna see a big move in the electric vehicle and clean energy space. Now why do I say this? It could be different where you live, but where I live, it's very difficult to find an electric vehicle charging station. Really, you're kind of out of luck. You know, you can drive anywhere and find a gas station, but it's not as easy to find some place that you can charge your electric vehicle. So this is where EVgo comes into play. They're building up that infrastructure of electric vehicle charging stations to make it easier. And once we build up that infrastructure, obviously the electric vehicle industry can boom and soar even more than it already has. Now, what does this do and what does this look like for the company? So they just went public through this SPAC merger and they have an extra $350 million to reinvest in the business now. So this is gonna help them innovate and create more charging stations and really build up that infrastructure for the future. So the stock price, SPACs, we, we usually see these SPACs shoot up as soon as they announce a merger and especially these days when they're announcing mergers with clean energy and electric vehicle stocks and this is exactly what we saw with CLII. So if you're looking to trade EVgo, you need to look under the ticker symbol CLII at the moment. Now it closed Thursday around $13 and change per share and it closed Friday at $22 per share. So this was a huge increase that we saw in one day alone. Now I know a lot of people out there might be wondering, should we get into this stock right now? Is it gonna take off next week? Or could we see a pullback and then we should get in at a lower price? Now this happens so often with these SPACs, we see them rise and they could rise for a couple days and maybe they start to settle as we see people taking profits. We have to remember, the electric vehicle game is going to be a long-term play, especially throughout all of 2021 and beyond. We're just now really starting to see the boom, we're starting to see the infrastructure build up, and we're starting to see the mass public uh, kind of catch on and embrace this new technology. So, with that being said, there could be a lot of profit taking, especially after such large gains in one day. Now, what do we do when we see such profit taking? Do we get in as the share goes down? No, we know by now that we don't wanna buy falling shares. Why? It's very simple. If you're buying a falling share, what is it likely to continue doing? It's likely to continue falling. And if you buy a rising share, what is it likely to continue doing? It's likely to continue rising. Now, you might be saying, okay, well, I wanna buy a falling share because it's cheaper than when the stock's rising. That may be so, and you could, you could go along with dollar cost averaging and what a lot of people recommend out there, but there's something about being able to get into a position and being able to make money right from the start. I would say that's better than being able to dollar cost average on the way down and maybe waiting six months to a year for the share to finally rebound if it rebounds. 
So going forward, when the stock market opens on Monday and we're looking at CLII to add to our portfolios, I do believe that this is going to be a good long-term play. So if you're looking to add it to your portfolio, make sure the stock is rising. Maybe it opens higher than $22 per share. And as long as it's continuing to follow through, go ahead and we can pull the trigger on CLII. If not, if it's falling back down, let the settle, let it settle. You know, don't have that fear of missing out. Like we can't get in or it's, you know, it's never going to recover or anything like that. Let the share price settle and we can get in as the stock rises. Now I want to know, and I'm always interested in if you guys already have CLII in your portfolio. I know a lot of people trade SPACs before the news comes out and they might be sitting on that position for quite some time before they see that big pop up. So if you were able to get into this company and if you were able to capture all of these gains today, let us know down in the comments below. It's always inspiring to see when people are making money in the markets and it helps the rest of us become better investors. So by all means, let us know, start a conversation down in the comments below. If you think that this is going to be a long-term hold, maybe we're going to get some profit taking or kind of share your thoughts on where CLII and EV, EVgo could go. <laughs> EVgo could go, right? So... Guys, if you like the content on this channel, please don't forget to click that like button. If the subscribe button is still red, you got one more shot. Join the channel and become a bro. And if you share the video on StockTwits, make sure to tag me there as well, at ClayBro. So until the next time, I hope that all of you have an awesome day.